Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. You might be having the world's best Wi-Fi router, but if it is not optimized, you will be getting very pathetic results such as poor Wi-Fi range, low speed internet, to name a few. Some of the most common questions that come to our mind when we install a Wi-Fi router in our home will be how to position and place Wi-Fi antenna for maximum coverage or where to position Wi-Fi router in your home or which is the best Wi-Fi antenna orientation for maximum coverage. Guys, in this video, I will explain various factors that affect your speed as well as range of your Wi-Fi network. By the end of this video, you should be able to tweak your Wi-Fi router and get high speed and long range Wi-Fi network in your home. But before answering those questions, you should know how these Wi-Fi waves are radiated through the antenna. What is an antenna? Simply speaking, antenna is a device which converts electrical signals to electromagnetic waves or vice versa. In the last video, I explained everything you need to know about Wi-Fi antennas. If you haven't seen that yet, I will provide the link in the description. Watch that first to get a better understanding. Almost all of the wireless communication devices that are separated by a considerable distance require antenna of some kind. Sometimes these antennas will be external and can be observed easily, like routers, while some are resting PCBs of the module itself. Wi-Fi uses a frequency of 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. As mentioned earlier, the antennas are designed depending upon the frequency of the signal to be transmitted or received. Which means, we cannot use 2.4 GHz antenna in the place of 5 GHz antenna and vice versa. Wi-Fi router antenna position plays a crucial role in the speed and range of the Wi-Fi signal. What should be the Wi-Fi router antenna position for getting faster Wi-Fi network that will spread across our house? Most of the home router antennas have omnidirectional antennas that emits Wi-Fi signals equally in a single plane. This is what it means. The direction of radiation emitted will be perpendicular to the direction you point the antenna. That means, if your Wi-Fi router antenna position is vertical, it will emit radiation in a horizontal plane. If you are pointing Wi-Fi antenna horizontally, waves will be emitted vertically. Some Wi-Fi router will have two or three antennas. And just like a TV, it matches which way you point the antenna. If you point it in the wrong way, you will have less signal strength and less Wi-Fi speed. If you point all your antenna straight up, the Wi-Fi router will be radiating the whole signal in a single direction. So, for a home Wi-Fi router with two Wi-Fi antennas, it is always best to point one antenna horizontal and the other one vertical. This way, we can cover both vertical and horizontal space in our house. Transmission and reception of Wi-Fi signal will be faster when internal antennas of our laptops and mobile phones are parallel to the router antenna. So, if you keep one horizontal and the other one vertical, there is more chance of aligning with the device antenna with at least one of the router antenna and having a parallel match. And about Wi-Fi security. For the best performance, I suggest you go with WPA2 plus AES. If you use any other protocol other than this, the Wi-Fi speed of the entire network may go down. If you are using old encryption like TKIP or WEP, I suggest you move your Wi-Fi security to WPA2 plus AES. This will significantly boost your Wi-Fi speed. Now that you know how these waves are radiated, let us position the Wi-Fi router somewhere we would get maximum Wi-Fi range. Guys, before going further, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. As I mentioned in my previous video, the maximum distance an antenna can cover depends upon the power gain of the antenna. This will be constant for a particular antenna. Most common home routers have a power gain of 5 dBi to 9 dBi, which is enough to cover a medium sized house if placed correctly. One thing you want to do is, put your router at the center of your house because it broadcasts the Wi-Fi signal in equal strength in all direction. If possible, it's always a good idea to put your router in a room in which antenna of the router is in direct line of sight from whatever position your device is. This will help in the transmission of Wi-Fi signal around the home with less dissipation. It is always a good practice to keep your router at the center of the house rather than a corner so that it can cover maximum horizontal radius. If it is a multi-story building, the router should be placed somewhere in between the first floor and the second floor for covering maximum vertical range, like the ceiling of the ground floor or somewhere near the floor of the first floor. You could also lift your router off the ground because most Wi-Fi signal can't penetrate some of the materials that make up floors like metal or concrete cement. Also, the way most routers are designed is they broadcast the signal slightly downwards. That way, you are actually projecting some of its wave down into your basement. 
So to get maximum Wi-Fi range and reduce dissipation of the Wi-Fi signal, it's always better to elevate the position of the Wi-Fi router in your home. Another thing to be taken care of is the electronic devices around the router. A lot of electronic devices can interfere with Wi-Fi signal. Things like TV, computers, microwave, pretty much anything that has a motor inside it. So you want to keep the router away from other electronic devices. To increase Wi-Fi signal strength of your PC, we could use USB Wi-Fi receiver or USB Wi-Fi adapter. Receiving antenna of the Wi-Fi adapter depends upon whether the station is portable or not. If it is portable, it is better to use an omnidirectional Wi-Fi antenna that has the same polarization as that of the transmitter or the router. If it is not portable, it is better to use a directional antenna such as a mini panel antenna or cantina and point it to the access point. Usually, the Wi-Fi router antennas provided by the manufacturers will be having 5 dBi or 7 dBi power gain, which is very low when compared to currently available antennas on the market. Some of the Wi-Fi routers allow you to change the stock antenna that comes with the router. So if your router does support removable antennas, you can get a higher gain antenna like a 12 dBi or a 20 dBi. Use a Wi-Fi booster or a repeater. Wi-Fi repeaters are small networking devices that will increase the range of Wi-Fi network in your home. These devices can be placed where you feel like the Wi-Fi signal strength is dropping. Once the device is set up, it will feed on the existing Wi-Fi network and creates a new network with boosted signal, creating a stronger and wider network. These devices are cheap and can be easily set up. This will significantly increase your Wi-Fi range. None of these are working for you? Is it because your Wi-Fi router is too old? Well, check out this list of awesome affordable Wi-Fi routers. These are cheap wireless routers that still offer fast internet speeds, large coverage and future-proof features. Whether you stream a lot of videos, are a hardcore gamer or have a two-story house or even need a router with plenty of panel controls, we have you covered. Check this out. In the next video, I will show you the latest hacks you can do with your Wi-Fi router to increase the Wi-Fi range and get high-speed network connectivity. Make sure you don't miss our future videos. Subscribe our channel by clicking the subscribe button here and stay tuned for more videos.